can be overwhelming and sometimes just finding a place to start can be the hardest part. Yeah, and once you start, how do you stay inspired to finish the cleaning? And here with great tips to get us going is professional organizer, George Schultz. All right, nice to have you here, George. Thank you, good morning. This is a conversation starter. Mm -hmm. We both have uh, cleaning projects, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> for maybe it's windows, but uh, maybe you have a better place for us to start. Where is it? My favorite place to start is in the garage. It's actually the first room you enter into your home every day when you park your car. That's true. If you have one. And it's been neglected over the winter with the salt and the sand and the ice blocks falling off your tires, and you get to be outside. So I think the garage is the perfect way to start. Otherwise, outside in your yard. You can have the kids pick up sticks, um, getting the flower dog beds, gifts. the gar Yeah, we, we have dog stuff to, <laughs> to yeah. pick up mm -hmm. ourselves. But it really gets the family involved to getting the kids, um, you know, weeding out that garden, getting the garden ready to be planted for the spring. So those are my two favorite places to start this time of year. Well, and you mentioned getting the kids involved with doing some stuff outside. How do you get them in general excited about doing any of the cleaning on the inside or the outside? Mm -hmm. Well, if you give them a squirt bottle, they yeah. seem to get a lot more done. There's mm -hmm. a great product um, from Better Life. It's their all-purpose, all-natural spray. It's safe for pets, safe for kids, and you can buy little inexpensive dollar water bottles um, at Target or any local store. Put a little bit of the cleaner in there, give them a squirt bottle. They can start to wi wipe the windows. They might not do, be doing the best detailed job, but mm -hmm. you're at least getting them it's involved. It's cleaner than it was. Exactly. True. Exactly. And maybe they're doing end tables, stuff mm -hmm. like that. The vents are a great thing for mm -hmm. them to squirt and dust the air oh, vents. Okay. Those have also been neglected over, over oh, yeah, the winter. Oh, yeah, those return vents, too. Exactly. Uh -huh. oh, those are, yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. dog care. And, uh, yeah, and they'll probably squirt each other, and then maybe they'll get clean, too. But it is safe, and it's kids. unscented, so don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. All right, so you mentioned the, the air ducts, and let's talk about carpeting now. We know this time of year we're yes. looking at the car carpets going, ooh, neat. how often should people typically get their carpets cleaned? Ideally twice a year, but I would say most people do it one to every three years, depending on how much heavy traffic you have coming through your house. If you have a lot of pets, you have a lot of kids, you probably need to do it more often. Your air ducts, they recommend about mm -hmm. every two to five years. Oh, we're on, yeah, we're time. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's been here. It's been we're about six years, yeah. Yeah. And the carpet cleaning and the air ducts, I normally say leave that to the professionals. Yeah. They really have great companies out there. They normally run spring specials. So if you can find a lot of those online. You know, we have one of those little shark things, and that's great for stains. But man, I tell you, doing the whole carpet is just, that's nuts. Right. Moving the furniture and moving, especially with pianos and right. Know, Other areas yeah. of your house too, you want to take a look at are your mini blinds, mm -hmm. your draperies, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Take them down, wash them, dry clean them, launder them. Those are kind of the big jobs that you want to tackle in the spring. All right, and clothes. We know that we're we're changing our wardrobe mm -hmm. soon, and yes. we got to tackle the closet. I know I, this is something I do every <laughs> spring. So, uh, what's a good way to get organized and get that started? Easiest way to tackle your closet is to remove everything. You want to mm -hmm. vacuum the floors. You want to dust off the shelves. You even want to dust off those handbags and the shoes. I pulled a pair of shoes up that I'm wearing today out of the back of my closet, and they were even dusty in mm -hmm. my house. So it's just time. I like how you said months. that, by the way. They were even in, dusty in, in my house. In my house. Of judgment. I was shocked. <laughs> there was a little judgment there. You're clean freak. Well, I guess right. we expect that. Uh -huh. um, and so if we, we, you're talking about almost doing the garage. Then you talked about doing a closet. It seems like you're on a kind of a one room at a time tack here. It is. That's, I think that's the easiest way to tackle mm -hmm. your house. Stick to one room, finish it, and get it all done. If the family's participating, um, maybe dad is going to do all the light fixtures, get up on the ladder, take them all down and wash those. Then you can separate the rooms mm -hmm. out. Um, the kids can clean out their closets. If there's clothes they don't like, mm -hmm. say, you know what, there's great kids that we can donate those mm -hmm. to, great charities. And they really get involved and get on board with that as well. But stick to one room at a time or assign uh, the specific room to the child and you'll get a lot more done. Well, that way, too, you mm -hmm. don't get overwhelmed by having your whole house fall apart at once. Yes, and then you're yeah. not all working yep. in the mm -hmm. same room at once, and it'll be a little chaotic. <laughs> and, and plus, it makes sense with closets, with kids, especially right now. If they're going, you know, we know spring is approaching. You might want to be, they might need to get new clothes because mm -hmm. they've grown out of the old clothes. And, you know, the, the idea in our house is, like, you have to go through all your old stuff first and, mm -hmm. and, and take a look at what you've got yeah. before we go out and buy you, you know, three more pairs of shorts That's if, you, exactly don't need, if right. you don't need them. And if you come across, you know, your kids say, Mom, I don't have any more shorts. 
put those on the list and you'll kind of do the inventory of what you need to shop and then you won't be buying excess and putting them back in your closet and then in having to clean it out next spring. Perfect. Jor, okay. thanks so much for joining You're us welcome. this morning. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jor. Uh, that's Jor Schultz. If you'd like more of Jor's organizing tips, you can check out her website at jorganized.com. Still my favorite website. <laughs> <It's organized. laughs> All right. It is